Lully, huh? Yes. Huh? Yes. Let me pray for you. I want you to, to be an example in the family. Because the whole of Mudluli family, are you hearing me? Yes. The whole of Mudluli family, you people are suffering. Huh? Yes. You people are suffering. Do you know anyone called John? John is my father. Because I'm it's hearing John. Name. Huh? Yes, it's my father. It's your father? Yes. John? Yes. I want this case because. You people, you are trying everything, but the whole family is like it's in a cage. Yes. Oh, you hear me? Yes. So I want to pray for you today to be an example of everyone. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm trying to tell you? Amen. And from here, I'm telling you there's something good that is coming to you. Amen. You'll give us a testimony. So where is John? Uh, my father now is in, he's in Mozambique. Huh? He's in Mozambique. In Mozambique. Yes. This poverty... It's over today. Amen. Come out. Come out. Come out, you demon. Go and tell John that God has had the prayers of the whole family. Come out. You're free. For the My name is George. Uh, I come from Mozambique. I live in Mozambique actually, but I come from South Africa. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Uh, the prophecy I received today, it was, the prophet spoke about my surname, which is Mzuli. Uh, and uh, he said, uh, I'm facing, I'm, I'm suffering, my family is suffering, uh, which, is, which is true at this moment of time. I'm really facing difficulties, especially in business. He said my, uh, our family is caged and yes, I can say that I'm caged because whatever that I'm trying to do, not, nothing works out and I think this year I already lost a lot in my business. I think everything is stagnant here. I, I can confirm that everything is, is caged. Concerning, uh, he also mentioned the name John. John is my second, uh, second name of my father. Uh, he's, uh, yes, my father is John. He's also facing difficulties at this moment of time. He's not working at this moment of time. He's trying to get tenders, but nothing works out. So whatever that he said, it's true, but uh, what encourages me is he said uh, from now on, things will change and I will be an example. And I really want to thank God for, for the prophecy and I believe that really things will change and whatever limitation that I was going through, it's coming to an end. Amen. And how was this affecting you and your family, this uh, spirit of poverty? Uh, it really affected. It, it's really affecting me. It's affecting me a lot. It's affecting me a lot because uh, at this moment of time, uh, I can say I don't have anything with me. I had a, a car, but the car, it's, I couldn't, I, actually, I, I lost everything. So this has affected me a lot. Even, even people who, I would be even be ashamed to be out of people because the life that I'm living now, comparing to the life that we had, it's completely different. So it's very painful. It's really painful. But I still believe God will do something. And how do you feel now that they've located you and also your family and your father and that they've also prayed for you? Uh, yes, I'm happy. Uh, I, believe, I believe I'm free. And I, as, the man, as the prophet has said, that I will come back with, uh, I will testify anytime soon. I believe so that it has to happen very soon. I really need to testify. Yeah. 